Hello everyone, welcome to What The Math, this is Anton and I am doing a special video today because we just reached 25,000 subscribers but also because I've actually promised in one of the previous videos to do a little bit of a giveaway of the game that I don't think many people wanted because there were only two entries and you know what, those two people wanted them so might as well do it. So the games I'm talking about are of course Surviving Space and uh, Neon Space. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the planet shakedown or I guess not just planets, but astronomical shakedown um, Two people will be represented by different objects in universe Unbox 2 and they will have to try to survive each other and We'll see who wins the games after all as a matter of fact if I might as well just uh, give one game I guess surviving space will be um, the game that w the winner would get and then give the other game to the person that um, is the second winner. There's no loser. Nobody's a loser. Anyway, so to start, let's actually make two different objects. We're going to start with two small objects. And here we're talking about two minor objects. Actually, I'm not going to do two because usually if you do two, um, there is actually a pattern where the object that is placed second will always, like if I actually name this, will always swallow the first object for some reason. I don't know why this happens. I think maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's the way the game calculates things. So instead of this, what we're going to do is I'm going to place a bunch of minor objects here. And here is going to be Pluto. And as you can see, there are 10 different Plutos right here. Now I'm going to name five of them after the first person and, and uh, five other ones after the second person. And then whoever is left, basically, after all the collisions are finished, is going to be the winner of round one. So this is going to be a multi-round challenge. And I guess uh, you get to find out who those two um, contestants are. The first contestant, his name is J-Bob Reed. Um, he is one of the persons, I think he was actually the first person to message me that he wanted one of the games. And the second person is Martin Olsen. So this is two of our contestants. They each have five different bodies and the body that is left at the end is going to be named after one of them because this is actually where the game gets really funky. It starts randomly assigning games, uh, not games, names after the objects that collide. So let's actually decrease this a little bit and here comes the battle. We begin with the gravitational attraction of all of these objects as they start attracting toward one another and you'll get to see them colliding with each other. And so here we go. Here comes J-Bob and Martin, collision number one. And it looks like J-Bob won that one. And all right. Uh, hmm. What's happening here? I see a lot of J-Bobs. Looks like J-Bob Reed wins this round. Yep, there's two J-Bobs. Both of them are right here. And they're basically both J-Bob Reed. And the rest are just fragments that are flying away. So it looks like round one goes to J-Bob Reed. Interesting. So I'm not sure if there was um, any kind of uh, bias here. I tried to make this battle as fair as possible, but it looks like both of these objects are now named J-Bob. All right, round two. We are now going to use two different planets and, uh, or actually I guess it's the same planet. And I believe it's based on this planet right here, Korot 7b, which is, um, it's basically a planet known as a super earth. And this is, uh, it's kind of the same object. I don't know why some of them look a little bit different, but they are exactly the same. If you look at their mass here, they're basically the same. And so we have Martin versus J-Bob once again. I tried to place them a little bit uh, separately from one another this time. So let's see who wins this battle. And here we go. There come the collisions. I do not see who the winner is yet, but I see some, there's a Martin right there and there's a J-Bob right here. And all right, I'm not exactly sure if this is a tie or not because we have three J-Bobs. So let's actually, and yeah, and there's two Martins. So what we're gonna do now is let's actually stop their velocities and have them collide again. And here we go. This is, I guess, uh, part two of this battle. And, oh no, Martin is gone. There's only one Martin left and three J-Bobs flying around. And looks like Martin actually only has mass uh, 7.3 masses of Earth. This has 8.3, so chances are if they collide... Oh, this has 17 masses of Earth. So chances are if they collide, this will be the end of Martin. Let's see what happens to Martin. He's about to approach this J-Bob planet right here. And, oh, he might actually survive this. Unless I stop the velocity. Is that cheating? I don't know. Oh, he actually acquired a little bit of mass right now because he had a collision with a fragment. He might get another fragment right here. Look at how exciting this is. Am I the only one being excited by this? This is an exciting battle. 
This should be like some sort of an eSport. This is way better than watching League of Legends. No, we'll come back. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Give him a, give him a chance. There's three J-Bobs against one Martin who has a mass of... Oh, it's still 7.42. It's still very, very low. Uh, this here has a mass of 23 Earths. That is a very, very large planet. And I think it just got bigger because it has... It had a collision with another J-Bob. I'm going to uh, stop their velocities once again. And let's just have them attract each other and then see who the winner of round two is. Because right now it looks like it's actually only one J-Bob left, but it's a very large J-Bob. And I'm sorry if I'm actually using your name in such a funny fashion, but uh, J-Bob currently has 21 masses of Earth. Martin Olsen only has 7.4, but you never know. He might prevail. Although usually I think the, in the game... Ooh, that, was, that would have been a close... Uh, encounter usually in the game the higher mass is what uh gets um things named after it but i'm going to do this i'm going to stop these three th three objects and have them collide with one another and oh no martin you lost round two again i'm sorry all right joey bob prevails we're going to do one more round here and this time with stars and this time I'm going to pick a bunch of Proxima Centauris, which are actually not a very, um, they're not very large, they're actually relatively small as stars go. And let's do, let's do just six. I'm going to do six and name three of them J-Bob. And the other three are going to be Martin. So this is round three. Uh, and if Martin loses this round, I think this might be it. Unless... Unless something else occurs and we might have to do a rematch. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. I forgot there. Okay. That was actually a possibility, apparently. Uh, yeah. So everything went supernova. And there is now only one J-Bob and Martin just nicely orbiting around one another right there, I think. Look at that beautiful orbit that they've created around one another. Okay. That is definitely a draw, I think. Because I think there is no survivors in this particular battle. It has become a very large supernova, and uh, the only J-Bob and Martin are basically orbiting, unless, of course, I pause uh, their, or I make their velocity zero, and then, in that case, they'll just explode. Okay, well, round three is a draw. Let's go for round four and make things a little bit bigger and a little bit scarier. Let's go for black holes. We're going to take two black holes, no, four black holes. Two of them are going to be named Martin, and two of them are going to be named J-Bob, and we're going to let them collide with one another. Now, these are, I think, about 10 million masses of the sun, so these are called intermediate um, supermassive black holes. And here come the first two collisions, or they might be not a show collision. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. Look at that. And... Will you look at that? I think Martin prevailed. Congratulations, Martin. You win round four. You are the supermassive black hole now. A uh, mass of 40 million masses of sun. So this is actually, what, 2-1 now, I think? We had one draw, two victories for J-Bob, and one victory for Martin. Looks like we have to do one final round, and this is going to be the ultimate round of everything. We're going to do the following. Let's go to the extreme and choose two galaxies that's right we're going to go for galaxies i think i'm going to choose this one right here mass here 8085 um, and i'm going to place one right here and one right here and guess what one of these galaxies is named j bob and one of them is named martin now if you haven't watched enough um, a lot of my videos you may not know exactly what's going on here and you may actually ask, be asking yourself, are these glitches I'm looking at? What are these red spots everywhere? Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is actually the representation of dark matter. It, this is what uh, we think dark matter looks like and where it's positioned in various galaxies. And if I were to remove these um, red spots, I actually have to accelerate the game dramatically, make it run at like millions per year, uh, millions of years per second right now, because otherwise it's actually not going to work. Or it's going to work, but it's going to go really, really slow. Uh, but yeah, if I were to remove these red spots, and I'll show it to you what happens after we have the collision, um, the entire galaxy would actually just fly away into the abyss. So, like, the, all of these stars will just escape. So, these red spots, uh, they represent the gravitational attraction that we think is caused by the dark matter. 
and it's basically keeping these galaxies together so there you go you can kind of start seeing motion when i have what is this 2.5 million years per second martian galaxy is coming slowly together and so is jbob and they're about to start attracting one another so if i accelerate this even more you'll get to see the beautiful effects of galactic dance and this will happen to our galaxy at some point when an Andromeda galaxy comes for a visit and decides to collide with us. But let's see who wins this battle. And what is happening inside? I do not see. It's very confusing because there's a lot of stars. But this is actually a galactic um, merger, galactic collision. I think they're just dancing around one another again. Now, if this is a draw, unfortunately, J-Bob wins. Or I guess fortunately for J-Bob, but unfortunately for Martin. But if Martin manages to absorb J-Bob, and I think he didn't. No, no, Martin, come down. <laughs> He's still alive. Uh, okay, I need to maybe accelerate this a little bit and see what happens at the end. But this is what actually happens when you have galaxies um, collide. The two bla massive black holes um, on the inside, they'll approach each other, they'll start orbiting, and then they will eventually just merge into big one super black hole and then all of the stars around them either escape into the outer galaxy and never come back or become part of the new galaxy and this is what will happen to our galaxy when andromeda and milky way merge and become androlky way no uh milky romeda i'm sure there's a better name for it but it's going to become one super galaxy. All right, so it looks like it's a draw again because these guys just kind of started... I think they, they want to, to have a draw because they started just dancing again. There's Martin and then there's J-Bob. They're just kind of dancing around one another. And that's cool. That's okay. If you guys want to have a draw, that's okay. But it looks like J-Bob wins. Well, anyway, congr congratulations, J-Bob. You won the um, Surviving Space and I hope it's okay with you if I give the other game called Neon Space to Martin for being a good sport and for not giving up very early. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you remove the dark matter. We're going to click this button right here. So we're going to remove dark matter and just watch what happens. And boom. And I'm going to accelerate them. And you'll see how stars start flying away. They actually start escaping. They start escaping and on the inside you'll just have these two black holes. So what we think today is that the actual gravitational attraction of dark matter keeps the galaxies together so it's not really the black holes on the inside it's not really the you know it's not it's not really anything else it is the combination of the mass of the galaxy itself with of course the black holes that are on the inside and yeah this is definitely a draw they will never probably collide with each other because there looks like they've actually achieved a perfect balanced orbit around one another and so they'll be just orbiting around like the, uh, like this for millions and billions of years to come. Anyway, so that's kind of all I wanted to do in this video. I know it wasn't very educational, but I tried to educate you just a little bit. But we have a winner, J-Bob Reed. And I'm going to message you with the code for uh, Surviving Space. And Martin, you're going to be getting Neon Space. Now, both games, like I mentioned in the video, are not particularly brilliant. But you know what? You get Steam cards with them and you get to play a kind of a cool um, indie game. And this company will definitely... Um, and the company I'm talking about is Just Elite, Just1337. One, one, three, three, it will definitely appreciate your support or your review. So do leave them a, a, you know, a good review because it's a new company and they need some help. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little giveaway, a little special edition, 25,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, by the way. I really appreciate all your support. You guys are totally awesome. And those of you who are asking... Why are you wearing pink shirt? Well, that's because I went to a shop today here in South Korea and there was a Star Wars sale. Look at what I have. I'm wearing this amazing shirt that has Darth Vader on it and it's pink and it's technically salmon, but it's pink. And it says it is pointless to resist because that is true. It is pointless to resist. You will fall to the dark side. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all of your support. You're awesome. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. And you guys need to collide because I actually want to see who will prevail, who will win everything if this was a thing. And the winner is Martin. It's actually a draw. It is a draw, but too late. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.